told you. I did call you. There's no one inside. Please let me go home. Police department. We're not leaving. Come to the door. Open the door. This is Kayla. On March 19th, she placed a distressing 911 call begging police for help with her abusive boyfriend. But when asked for her location, she immediately hung up, prompting police to act quickly and track her location using the ping of her phone. What's going on? I have to go to work. Mm -hmm. No, I have to go to work. Okay. I'm not willing to be late for work. Okay, what's going on? I have then? to- nothing! Okay. Nothing, I have to go to work. I don't even know why you guys are here. Get away from me, please. You're making me feel- I want the chief of police here. Okay. Whoever the supervisor is, I want here. Okay, he's coming. Okay, what I time? have to go to work. I don't have time for this, sir. Kayla is hostile and aggressive from the beginning of the altercation. So who's in the apartment with you? Me. Okay, who else? Me. She's claiming that she's alone in the apartment, something the 911 call she made 15 minutes prior contradicts. If this wasn't enough to arouse suspicion, her erratic behavior certainly is. So you called us. No, I didn't. I don't know who called you. Okay, I did what's, call what's you. Your, what's your phone number? Let's start with that. 603. I have to get ready, sir. Okay. I have to go to work. We gotta. I have to go to work. Gotta, we gotta call. Hello? Hi. Oh. Okay. So that's why, the number that called 911. I actually, have, I actually have two different numbers on that's the phone. That's the number that called 911. Oh, yeah, right, it was. She denies making the 911 call and argues that the number that placed the call wasn't hers. But when the officer standing behind her redials the number and Kayla answers, the police know she's caught red-handed and is lying. But little did Kayla or police realize just how intense the situation was about to become. <laughs> Kayla is claiming that she can't breathe, and if this is true, it may be because she's been screaming non-stop for the last several minutes. Regardless, now that Brandon is detained, the officers separate them in order to get to the bottom of the situation. Right. I can't believe this! I gotta yeah. adjust this cuff too before. Okay. okay, hold on, hold on. One second. Oh, I didn't lose my apartment! No, you are, you are Fuck yelling! you! Fuck you! What is it doing? Brandon, your first name, right? Yes, Brandon, sir. all we had to do was talk about that, right? Okay. That's all we wanted to do when we came here. He just lost his job. I can't afford to lose my job. Please help me. Please. Please. Guys. Please. Please. I'm going to lose my job. You have a seat in here. I'm going to lose my job. Please don't. Please, I'm not going to run. Why would you guys hit me? I wasn't running. Okay. You I was called 911 because he was... Because she was being a douchebag, I was just trying to threaten him with the fucking cops. Kayla admits that she only called 911 because Brandon was being a douchebag, and she wanted to scare him. By telling him this, she's essentially admitting to lying to police. In the state of Wisconsin, this is considered obstructing an officer, and is punishable by up to nine months in jail. Fine, you guys did all of and this! He up. thought that you were hurting me! Of course he came out here to help me! He thought you guys were hurting me! Okay, you called 911. You just tased him! Yeah! He wasn't doing anything! Okay, you have to put your up. legs inside. Sir, I have put to put your legs inside. I'm the trying to talk to you like a normal put person. Put your legs inside the vehicle. Please talk to no, me. No, put your legs inside the vehicle right now. Can you please talk to me? No, put your legs inside. Can you inside. put the window down? We can roll the window can down. Can I please be in the know? I want to know what's happening. Right. Guys, please. I have I have to work. Can I go to jail? No, you're not going to jail. You're under arrest right now. I didn't do anything, sir. Yes, you did. So I'm going right. to lose put the work at noon. 
Put your leg in. Put your leg in. Put your leg in. Or you will go to jail. Put your leg in the car. No, you're going. Okay, no, no, I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Put your, please, can you put, put your the leg in. Down, please? Put your leg okay, in the car. Please put the window down a little put bit. Put your leg in the, the car. Bit. It's just a little bit. How are you doing, Officer Bird? I'm okay. Nice I'm, gonna, to see you, I'm gonna take care of you here, buddy. I uh, I hope there's not gonna be anything stupid from this. Nobody's nobody's hurt. I don't feel like I don't. I'm not gonna make paperwork out of it. So if you need needle nose, I have needle nose in the cabinet. The difference between Kayla's demeanor towards the police and Brandon's is huge and shows what difference cooperation can make for both parties when dealing with an arrest. Brandon's attempts to stay calm will be in stark contrast to Kayla's hysterics, and it will serve him well when it comes to facing charges. Please, I'll put the window down a little bit. Can Stop yelling. Talk to me? I need to know what's going on, please, sir. You're being arrested for one, disorderly conduct. Two, resisting an officer. I wasn't resisting, Three, sir. That, I have to go to work at noon. Please. That is resisting an officer. Sir, I have to go to work at noon. And three, for obstructing an officer by filing a false police report, which caused us... Hey, he wasn't. I called the police because he was yelling. You told me that you just made that up. No, I told you he was that, yelling. That he was being a douchebag. You just I screamed in my face. I'm sorry. I have a baby I had to take care of. Where's your baby right now? In there. In there? Yes, sir. I have to go to work. Okay. Please. I Can have go to go to work. Please. Train. I just have to be with my baby. Please don't take him away from me. All right. We're not going to take your baby, but we got to find somebody for him right now. Sir, what's going on with my boyfriend? I don't know. I'm out here talking to you. Do you think I know? Sir, please. Nothing happened. He was yelling and I called the cops and that is it. Okay. You were screaming that... You got that for we need to get there. To arrest me. I don't get it. I don't even know who you are. I don't, I'm not telling you. Okay, well then, that's another reason we're not going to let you go then. <laughs> While Kayla claims the police are looking for any reason to arrest her, she has in fact already given them several reasons not to let her go. Beginning with the unnecessary 911 call and now refusing to identify herself to the officer. She said that her boyfriend was being a douchebag and that she wanted him to get scared. Yep. That's basically what he said. Obstructing, disorderly conduct, and <clears throat> resisting, in my opinion. Yeah. So when she started screaming like she's being right now, he came through the door like... We were hurting? Yeah. Yeah, like yeah. we were hurting yeah. her. Just up, ready to go. Does he need to go to jail over this? There's a baby in the room in there? Yep. Okay, yeah, so, so if he's rational and capable, yeah. let's leave him there based on the circumstances. Okay. Are you going to stay calm? Yes, I promise. Okay. I need you to stay calm and cooperative at this point, all right? I'm going to have Officer Fox unhandcuff you so you can tend to your baby. Now that officers have talked to both Kayla and Brandon separately, they come together to compare notes and discuss potential charges. They need one parent to take care of the child, and Brandon currently seems the most reasoned and rational. What is your name? Sir, what? I'm, I'm not yet. Please, I have to go to work. Okay, what is your name? I have to go to work. I'm asking you what your name is. Shakira. Okay, is that your name? Shakira. You can call me Shakira. Shakira what? Shakira flabbergasted. Shakira flabbergasted. Do you have any mental illnesses that I need to be concerned oh, about? Can someone let me call my work, please? Not at this time. Can I please call my work? Not at this time. Not at this time. I told Why? you that. Because you're under arrest. Your actions are way inappropriate, and your neighbors don't have to put up with this. Fucking tease my fucking husband. What the fuck kind of shit is that? There's fucking six of you. You guys gonna bum rush them, you fucking loser? <laughs> For what? Bring me to the hospital. For what? Bring me to the hospital. I want to kill myself and I feel like I want to kill myself. Bring me to the hospital. Bring me to the hospital. I want to kill myself. I'm having thoughts of suicide. Bring me to the hospital. I would like to talk to an officer. Okay. What would you like to talk about? I would like to go to the hospital. I'm feeling now. We're not going to take you to the hospital because you're going to go to jail. So. Really? Yep. Wait, what is he doing then? We're still working through that, but. Wait, what? Kayla seems to be under the impression that if she makes threats to harm herself or officers, she will be taken to the hospital instead of jail. But it's clear to the experienced officer that it's simply another half-baked attempt at evading arrest. Why am I getting arrested? Because you created a giant disturbance here. I didn't do anything. I didn't know that I was resisting. I was just trying to see if he was okay, sir. So please don't do this. I will swear to God, I will, I will stop from here on out, guys. Please. You have not identified yourself yet either. My birthday is 10. My social security number is... I only called because I was trying to scare him into not yelling at me anymore. I was wrong. That was wrong. I was wrong. That was illegal. I'm sorry. Okay. I don't know why I'm the one getting arrested. Because of your behaviors after it. 
Officer, no. please don't arrest me. You are arrested right now. Okay, well, please don't let me stay over the night. I promise my actions will change. Take a couple breaths, <laughs> and we'll talk when we're at the PD. Just breathe okay. for a couple minutes. That's all I'm asking you to do. While it was a mistake for Kayla to call the police in the first place, she could easily have told officers this, apologized, and gone on with her day. Instead, she committed a number of crimes in their presence, making a fight with Brandon the least of her problems. Ultimately, she was charged with resisting an officer and disorderly conduct. Officer, I really... Nope. 